Hey everyone, it's the one and only Jared Wolf, and I want to say I hope everyone had a happy 4th of July. Uh, I gotta say I did, had some pretty good fun with some old friends, so hope everybody else had an awesome 4th of July. Uh, we're here today, we're doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, I know you might have seen I uploaded a stream not too long ago that I did of a beta I was playing called Lawbreakers. Uh, and I thought today, uh, I believe the beta is over. I'm not 100% sure. I believe it's over. Um, and I just kind of want to give my own little review uh, on what I thought about the game and uh, if I think it has any potential or anything going forward. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So as soon as you blew up the game, I noticed that it was made with the Unreal Engine. Um, so I knew it was going to be an absolutely beautiful game uh, using the Unreal Engine. And going into it, I didn't know quite what to expect about it. Um, and I, I, I got to say, I was kind of surprised. Uh, it played a lot like the old Unreal Tournament. Uh, especially one level that I can think of in particular that I always liked was in the middle of space and you were in these buildings, there's gravity, but if you jumped out into the space, you would like float. And I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, they did a nice job implementing something like that into this game. So where certain parts of the map have these anti-gravity fields, you can like zip across and jump and er there's... I think six or seven different types of characters you can play as, all with their own unique abilities and weapons. Um, so in that sense, it's kind of like uh, Overwatch or Paladins, where you're, you know, unlike a regular shooter, you go in and just pick whatever gun's going. It is a class-based game. Um, but unlike those two games, where it feels a lot like the old Unreal tournaments, I mean, it is a fast-paced moving shooter. Uh, it has options on the computer to use a controller. Me personally, I was using mouse and keyboard about the whole time because I, I'm not normally a mouse and keyboard type person, but the, the speed of the game, uh, you just have to be able to turn on a dime and start shooting or meleeing people. And uh, when it comes to console shooters or something like that, I'm one of the oddballs that play on like one or two sensitivity. And so that, that just wasn't working out in this game. Um, for the feel of the game, there's some characters I definitely felt that were underpowered compared to some of the others. But at the same time, even the ones that were, I thought, had much more of an advantage, there, there's still a lot of flaws in them. Uh, like, they didn't tank too much damage. Uh, sure, they were fast and they could get up in your face, but, I mean, you... You could destroy them pretty quick if, if you're on the ball. Some of them, I think, had a little more overpowered abilities. Uh, the Assassin has, like, a grappling hook. Now, the grappling hook doesn't have an extreme range, but it can really help you close in the gate on someone. And what makes it OP isn't so much, uh, like, how you use it, but, like, for certain game types. So, like, one where you've got to... Was it blitz ball? You gotta take the ball and go to the other person's goal. Uh, the zip line ability, as well as there's another character in there that has a jetpack and uh, can actually like go pretty fast. There's the few ones sucks, but certain maps like where the gravity is right in the middle, you could just uh, jetpack into the gravity zone, like let off the jetpack, and you're still cruising at a really good speed. Pick up that ball and go right into the enemy base, and it was. Pretty much a guaranteed capture if you're playing one of those few classes. Uh, not to say the game's completely broke, because those classes also have disadvantages and different game types. But um, so far, I wouldn't say it's a completely unbalanced game. Uh, I did see a lot of like diversity between the characters, a lot of different styles of play. And, um, I mean, I, I think it's done an okay job at balancing so far. If they plan on adding more classes, which in the beta, uh, there was one icon I think that was locked out. So, I don't know if that's one that's 
going to be in the final game, or if they're going to have another beta later on, we're going to be able to play as that. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. But, um, all in all, for for what the game is, I think I, I, I really do like the game. I, th I think that's one of my bigger complaints with, like, Overwatch and Paladins, is that the gameplay can feel really, really slow. And th this game is all action, all excitement the entire time. It's, I mean, you, you've got to be moving. You can, it's not a standstill type game. So, I think that's, that's where I like it in uh, regards to the other games. Um, I, I definitely think uh, if more people know about the game and actually get a chance to play, if there's another beta that's going to come out, or if the game actually comes out, people you know, are aware of the game and actually get to see the gameplay and try it out. I mean, I definitely think it's going to be one of the better games to pick up. Um, that being said, with all that was in the beta at the moment, I think it was three different game types and nothing else more. As the game is at the moment, even though I think the gameplay is great and everything... If that's all it was right now and it were to release, I don't think I would pay $60 for uh, just just for the fact I don't think there's enough contact, uh, content to keep me playing the game. Um, as in not enough characters as well as um, only three game types. I don't know, just hopefully, hopefully they add a lot, lot more. Um, I'd like to maybe see a full game come out, maybe a free-for-all, uh, just a deathmatch-style game type. Like, objective game types are fine and everything, but some, sometimes I just need a little more. Um, especially if this game has no kind of campaign. I, I'm going to assume it probably does, and with that, if it has no campaign, I'd like to see a, wa a, a wide variety of gameplay, uh, game types, um, like a Capture the Fat Flag, I think would be alright, they already have like Blitzball and another one where you have to take an item and bring it back to your base, or take an item and take it to their base, I think it'd be nice if we got like a Capture the Flag where each base has a flag and team has to go get theirs and bring it back for the other team, I mean, uh, there's definitely a lot of potential, uh, like I said, as, as a $60 game right now, I probably wouldn't get it. Uh, $30 or $40 game, probably, especially if promised more content in the future. But hopefully, like I said, this was just a beta run, so hopefully there are more game types they're planning on putting out there. And uh, maybe they just didn't show them off because it's game types that are in most other shooters we play. And so it's like, why even put it out there, you know, like... Uh, it's going to be some people's expecting it's going to be there. Hopefully, that's kind of what's going down. Uh, but again, as, as I can say for the gameplay of the game and the graphics of the game, the game is absolutely beautiful. And on one point to try to stream it a little better uh, frame rate-wise, I even dropped the like quality of everything on low. And still on low, the game was absolutely you know amazing looking. So... Um, I think that's about it for my review of this game. Um, again, I I have high hopes for it. I think it definitely has the ability to be a really good game. Is it actually is it actually worth buying? I, to an extent, I think it's worth buying. Like I said, thirty four to forty dollar game, easy at the moment. Uh, they add. Three or four more game modes, I would buy it at 60. I mean, it, it, it was a really fun game. And when I started playing it, there was one day uh, where I had to work the night, you know, third shift. That's my normal shift. And I was still up at like 3 o'clock playing this game. And I was like, man, I got to go to bed. So I, it definitely has the potential to be something. So. Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, that's going to be the video. Uh, you know, feel free to watch the rest of the gameplay I record. And, um, you know, 
uh, if you want to check out some more of the other characters, I know the stream I did wasn't the best of quality, but I did try to do each of the classes every match, so you can definitely check that out as well on my channel. But um, if you all enjoyed the video, as always guys, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Uplink is validating. Uplink initializing. Uplink acquired. Your uplink connected. Your uplink severed. It will only get worse. Enemy uplink severed. Your uplink connected. Your uplink is at 25%. Your uplink is at 50%. Your uplink is almost complete. Uplink connected. 
Enemy uplink is at 50%. <laughs> Uplink is almost complete. Enemy uplink severed. Uplink dropped. Uplink stolen. Enemy uplink connected. My blade will purge the hypocrites! Uplink connected. Enemy scored. Uplink initialized. Uplink acquired. Your uplink connected. Your uplink is at twenty five per cent. Your uplink is almost complete. <laughs> 